So, um, how's it going, staying over at Liza's? Oh, it's fine. The whole blog world knows that we're not perfect, but... I don't know, after that whole, thing, sex tape thing with JR, mm. no way. Yeah, well, the gatehouse is coming along. You know, there's a extra bedroom, yours, yeah. if you want it. Thanks. That's nice of you, but, uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you and Madison. How's that going, anyways? It's better. Mm. Thank you. I mean, after she lost the baby, I, I didn't think we were going to get back to where we were. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We're in a, a new place now. Mm. So, uh, you're sure you're cool with staying at Liza's? Oh, you know. No matter how many times she messes up, she's here. Which is a lot more than I can say for my dad. Uncle Adam, wow. I haven't heard a thing from him. Um, I actually called him after one of Jair's meltdowns. Where is he? He doesn't care. I lie, Natalia. Then I let your dad take the blame the whole time when I was the reason he was able to switch the babies in the first place. And I, I have to tell Angie that. Um, yeah, I mean, telling Angie is one thing. But your job... I don't give a damn about my job. I'll resign. I don't care. I just want to make this right, whatever it takes. Hey, my dad and Angie, they have family, friends. It's okay. It's not going to be enough. I made one bad call, and look what it cost them. I can't live with this anymore. You, please, you guys not you, so you don't understand. This is not the first time it's happened. What do you mean? Iraq. I was just driving by, I saw the lights were on. I thought maybe you were open. Oh, well, we're not the No, 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 no. Come, come, come on in. Please. Come on. So, uh, can I get you anything? Um, you know, white wine, that'd be great. All right. Actually, I'm gonna make it a scotch. Okay. <laughs> Casual look, I like it. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is uh my insomnia look. <laughs> did you, uh, did you hear about David? Yeah. Heard he was arrested. Guess who his one phone call was? Please, I hope you hung up on him. Wants me to represent him again. And that's really what I thought I wanted. You know, it's, it's the big case, right? It's gavel to gavel coverage. It's me smack dab in the center of it. And no matter what side I'm on, whether I'm, you know, standing up for the rich and powerful, I'm trying to put them away. I'm just, I'm not happy. I really envy you, Crystal. Because <laughs> my life's a bowl of cherries. Please, come on, here I am, at my bar, in my pajamas, doing inventory, two in the morning. And really, what I'm trying to do is not feel what I've been feeling for so long. And what's that? Lost. Oh. I got so here and I'm getting nothing from you. 
I just heard you talking about your dad, and, and uh, I started thinking about mine. And I haven't done that in a while. He certainly wasn't in the great dad category like yours was. It's more than a twisted bastard who terrorizes his family category. And I, and I, I'm just thinking that I obviously still have a lot of guilt with the fact that my mom, my sister, and my brother weren't able to get away from him, but I was. Makes, uh, makes sense. I just don't want any part of the past to hold me back anymore. I want to be completely present right here, right now, with, with Green Lane, with Spike, and with Emma. Well, amen to that. So what I'm hearing here is I'm hearing that you and me, we got to just put the past behind us and move on. Here's to uh, dumping the baggage. What is it? What has got you so freaked out? When I got home tonight, the apartment was um, empty and quiet. Scary quiet. All of a sudden, I felt so alone. I mean, I just come up with this brilliant idea and I was shaking like a leaf. I was actually physically shaking. Since, since when do you physically shake? Since I was a little girl. I'd wake up in the middle of the night with some nightmare and I'd race to my parents' bedroom and I would open the door and in that moment when I so badly needed them to be there, they weren't. They were at a party or on some European vacation. That must have been hard. It was awful. And I wanted Roger and my mother to know it, so I started acting out. And, you know, eventually they shipped me off to boarding school. I thought that you, you liked Brookings Academy. It was a bunch of rich girls whose parents needed a place to dump them. But with some princess in the next bunk over, at least I didn't feel so alone. Yeah, but you're not alone now. You have Ryan. I do, I do, I have him. I have him tonight. But tomorrow he could be gone. Listen, you are not going to lose Ryan. You don't know that. I mean, when that gun went off in David's lab and I saw that blood on Ryan. It, really, that wasn't real. None of it was real. Yeah, but real. I had to act like it was. Like the man I love most in this world was dying right in front of me. And that's when I realized that it could happen, that in any moment, some crazy freak could take him away from me. That's not going to happen. Jonathan shot him. So did Hannah Nichols. Well, Jonathan was mentally ill. And Hannah was aiming for me. Ryan just happened to be there. Exactly. He'll always be there for the people that he cares about. Always. No matter what, he'll protect them. He'll do whatever it takes. And I'm afraid I'm going to lose him. No, really, you, you can't you have to stop thinking like I that. I can't help it. It's the only thing I know. Jackson left before I was born. Leo swore he'd never leave me, and he did. Ryan's left me more than once. I almost lost you. And if I lose all of you again, I feel like I'm going to die. Stop, stop. Lose me. Listen to me. You are not going to lose me. All right. I promise. <laughs> I spent my whole life plotting and scheming to get what I want and sure it's blown up in my face a million times but I've always been able to pick myself back up and somehow start again and just can't do it now. It's because I've lost the most precious thing in my life and that's my daughter. You know, Babe and I, um, we had this motto. <laughs> we deserve the best, and together we can always get it. Mm. Now, we didn't know how we were going to get it, but somehow we would. God, I mean, back then, I, I wasn't afraid of anything, man. I mean, anyone, anything, I mean, man. 
But come and go in my life, I never got attached, you know. I knew better. <laughs> Maybe breaking that rule was my big mistake. Adam and Tad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have fabulous taste in men. Yes. Right? <laughs> When I was younger, I thought I was invincible. And then, whew, coming out the other side of those two relationships just changed me. Yeah. Me too. I mean, mind you, I still make mistakes, but I just feel it more now. And I regret it more, which kind of gives me hope. Yeah, because that's it's proof that I'm actually, well, that I've learned something. <laughs> if you ask me, you've learned a lot. My dad. Mm-hmm. He was the heart of this family. He was. Right? Your dad, he was the muscle. Right? Mm -hmm. And although he fought dirty most of the time, he protected us. But Colby, it's our turn now. The new generation of Chandlers, all right? Listen, we got to, we have to, I'm telling you, we got to protect ourselves, okay? I care. Now look, I know I'm not your dad. <laughs> not, not dad either, right? But I'm a Chandler. We both are. Colby, that means something. So no matter what happens, okay? If we lose the company, we lose this house, we're not going to lose each other. Right? All right. All right. Come here. Thanks. Something happened in Iraq before I was burned. And I've never told anyone this. You can trust me. While, while we were over there, I had a buddy of mine named Tommy McBride. We called him Mac. And one day he came to me asking me to, to switch shifts with him. And I wanted to say no because it was my birthday. And all I wanted to do was just kick back and relax. But when I saw him, he was just... He was so tired and exhausted and... I couldn't even stand up, so I took a shift. The next day, he took mine. And he never came back. He had a wife and two kids. And ever since that day, I just asked myself the question, why did it have to be him and not me? <laughs> <laughs>